How's it going, guys? Dre here, and welcome back to Besiege. Today, we're starting off with a green square. Now, what happens when we touch this green square? Well, I actually don't know, because I've never touched it, but, uh, oh my god. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, I... God? Oh, I have really broke the game, guys. I'm, I'm respawning. I, wait, wait, I see something. I saw something. All right, well, I guess that's gonna wrap it up for this episode of Besiege, guys. Thanks for watching and liking. Just kidding, of course. Now we're gonna try this again, and hopefully this time we don't uh, blow up into oblivion or whatever wherever the hell we were there. Now I did slow it down a little bit. I should probably explain what this is, by the way. Oh my God, this is crazy. This is Jello. Uh, damn it! It did it again. All right. Well, clearly, um, the Jello doesn't like Jeeps, so we're going to uh, actually give it the Jello block that we saw a couple of weeks ago. So there's actually a cool little platform up here where you can drop anything you want. Oh my god, I didn't expect that. Where the hell? Oh, it's underneath it. That's actually kind of cool. It kind of accepted it. You know, it, it spewed out the Jeep, but it accepted the Jello block as its own. Isn't it adorable? So obviously we can have some fun times with this thing. I kind of want to explode it. So let's try that. All right, but before we do that, let's see if it's accepting of a dummy. So we got uh, just a ragdoll dummy here. This thing's actually pretty cool. I want to see what happens when this gets in it. Okay, so yes, it did not like the dummy. Oh man, that, that, that's a weird yoga move. And it did not accept it as its own, but that was pretty anticlimactic. So let's change this. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to add some bombs to this guy. So there you go, buddy. You're going to be all bombed up. This is not going to go well for you. <laughs> okay, I think that should be good. Let's just uh, put this a little bit closer into the middle and... Let's watch the chaos ensue. Hopefully it doesn't break the game like last time. Now we're gonna go in nice slow motion, so we'll do eh, about 8%. Actually, let's speed it up until we get a little bit closer to the ground. Oh yeah, now this is gonna end badly. Hopefully. I mean, that's the whole goal at least. And... There we go! Oh my god, the human! What happened to you? Oh, I need to come down here, though, and check out that jello. It actually, I thought it would, like, explode outwards or something, but no, it seems to... Oh, God, don't break my game again. That is so cool. Oh, damn it! All right, I want to try one more thing against the jello boss, and that is a tracked truck. We got uh, four tracks on this thing instead of tires, and it looks fantastic. I think this might be able to make it over it before, you know, chaos ensues. We'll see though. Oh god, no, that's not good. That is not, that, that is not good at all. Oh my god. Ah, oh, the jello boss strikes again. Jesus Christ. Like seriously, it totally destroyed that thing. This is really fun. Now, if anyone can take on the jello, it's good old Hans McQueen, and don't get mad at me, that's the actual name of the creation. I, I'm just respecting the creator himself. <laughs> what the frick is this? Oh, uh, we're gonna have a weird episode of Besiege today, ladies and gentlemen, but uh, yes, I had to run this in invincibility, so it's cheating a little bit, but it kept breaking its damn hands off. What the hell? It's like sliding sideways. Come on, get on there. There we go. Oh, yeah, e even you cannot deal with the jello, Hans McQueen. All right, and moving on to the next one, we have a Viking Tavern here, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I don't normally show these hyper-detailed, kind of besiege-like buildings in this uh, series, but there are a lot of people that make realistic structures to uh, just add to the besiege universe, and this is one of those structures that I really, really like. So, like I said, it's a Viking Tavern, so of course I'm in a Viking uh, character here. And, uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys some of the detail that some people make on these things, because it is truly phenomenal. And, of course, being a Viking, I'm just going to slice this guy, because he is not a real Viking, and that did not work. Okay, he's, uh, he's clearly not the- he well, he is there. What the- what the hell was that? All right, well, I killed him anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But yeah, I just wanted to quickly show you guys this, just so you can see some of the other creations that people make. Not just, you know, explodey fun ones, but there's also some serious ones as well that uh, are truly remarkable looking. Now, I don't think we can go inside this thing. There might be a little bit of detail in here, but oh yeah, you can actually see... Uh, it must be built around this windmill, um, or built upon this windmill or something. I don't know why there will be a windmill in there, but it, there indeed is. So yeah, that's just a Viking tavern. 
And moving on, we now have a calculator in Besiege, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, pretty much everything is one day going to be in Besiege. Uh, we have a four-digit calculator now. Now, I will say this thing's a little bit finicky, but it is truly amazing. So, uh, you can do addition, subtraction, subtraction, and multiplication on this thing, and we can go up to, obviously, 9,999. So, let's try something simple for this. We're going to do 25 plus 30. And we'll hit enter here, and bam! Look at that, 55. You can actually reset the calculator. Uh, we'll do 25 minus 20. Obviously, that should be 5. There we go. Now, it does have some issues when you go into the higher numbers, I find, but it's really cool the way it solves things. So let's go to a little bit of a bigger number. We'll do 10 times 50. Now, this might get it wrong, but watch the way it calculates. You can actually see it over there trying to calculate everything, and I think it's actually going to work this time. Sometimes it doesn't. There we go. Wait, what? Well, clearly 10 times 50 is a pretty high number, guys. I thought it was 500, but I could be mistaken. Obviously, uh, something bad happened here. So like I said, when you get to the higher numbers, it seems to overwhelm itself or something. So let's try 5 times 5. Oh, actually, we have to do a 0 there. So hold on. We'll clear that. 0, 5 times 5. Zero, 05. Okay, that should actually... Maybe that's my issue. No, because I was doing d um, n numbers with two digits, so it wouldn't really affect it. But that... There we go. It was able to do that. Obviously, you have to kind of keep this simple for right now. But we could go crazy and try and overload it. Let's do 48 times... 680, oh, okay, 68, that's right, it can only do two digits, but there you go. I don't know how it got to 1344, that is definitely not 48 times 68, that is actually 3264. So, as you can see, the calculator sometimes likes to lie. Still, really cool the way it's calculating itself, and uh, really impressive that we have an actual digital calculator in Besiege. And moving on to the next creation, we have the skimmer, ladies and gentlemen. This is obviously a very simple design, and that's what's so cool about it. This thing's actually, uh, if we uh, go to the information here, it should say it's 10 blocks, including a camera block. So in total, the actual creation is only 9 blocks. Now, what this thing is, is a really impressive glider. It's actually a little bit challenging to use. It took me a little bit of practice, but I love everything about this very simple design. So we're going to launch this thing and see if we can get it into uh, a gliding motion here. And it should, if you're really good with it, basically endlessly glide. So there we go. It launches itself, and then you got to lift up and, okay, I lifted it up way too high, so we're probably going to crash this one. It takes a little bit of practice, as you can see. It's kind of like flying a kite. It's very, very fun, a little bit challenging, but once you get it right, you'll understand where this thing is so enjoyable. So there we go. It's just got very fine movements, and you can actually utilize those movements to endlessly fly with this thing. So, as you can see, doing a lot better this time. you got to kind of ride the wave. You don't want to stall the thing, because that's when you're going to screw it up. But if you can keep this momentum going, you could definitely endlessly fly with this thing. And uh, it's very, very fun to fly, too, because any wrong move, and you're going to go crashing down. Um, but I just love this fall the small minute movements. I mean everything about this thing is truly awesome There we go. We did a loop. Oh, uh, that that shouldn't have did that shouldn't have did that now I'm definitely gonna stall come on, baby. We can do it. No, nope. it's just it's so slow at changing its reactions that it's very hard to stop it from doing stuff like that But what a cool little design just goes to show you you don't need to be a professional engineer to make an amazing creation in this game you just need to think a little bit and uh, you know really try and build something that's really, really cool. Because I, you could definitely get this thing going really fast. It's so cool. It is literally an endless glider. Uh, I could definitely tell that. If you did really focus on your flying, you could endlessly do this for sure. Because it picks up more momentum than it loses generally. And uh, yeah, that's one cool thing about Besiege. You can do things like that. And uh, yeah, I just thought I would show you this because I, I don't normally show these very simple designs, but they are really, really cool and really well done. Now, can we take out the tower with it? That's the bigger question. I don't, this is going to be very hard to aim. It's not an easy thing to control. Holy crap, I did it! And I even took out a tower with only nine blocks. Look at that. Another cool, simple design. I love designs that use items on the map. This is called simply the Iron Ball. And uh, for obvious reasons, you can actually... It kind of works like the BB-8. 
You uh, drive around the iron ball that's always on this map, and uh, yeah, you can do whatever you want with it. I think there's also, yes, flamethrowers on this thing. Uh, only 44 blocks for this creation, but as you can see, just like the uh, one before it, very unique, very fun to use, and I love that it's got a little balloon on the top, and that looks like that's how it keeps itself up. I can actually use that little uh, fan as well and try and stabilize myself a little bit more, it looks like. But, uh, sorry, little peasant. I'm just coming in here, buddy. You know what? There you go. Oh, and this would be, this would be like a great battle bot, you know? Because those flamethrowers, man, when, when you get spinning, that's damn dangerous. And this thing, it must have very little friction. That's, that's, that's kind of how it works. I mean, it's got a frictionless environment around it, and uh, we're just basically using it as a wheel. So, yeah, some awesome smaller designs. I always love these very unique ones, and I hope you guys do, too. And, well, I didn't expect to be in space today, but quite literally now we have space in Besiege. This is a map called Space Mission, and it has five different planets that we have to colonize. Now, the whole story is an asteroid's about to hit Earth, and we have to colonize other planets before that indeed happens. I just wanted to look at this, though. Uh, obviously, I think what we have to do, the whole mechanic, is you have to hit these little black spots, and then once you hit all five, you quote-unquote win the game. But each planet is supposed to have their own unique features as well. One has storms going on it. I'm assuming it's this guy. Uh, well, I have no idea, but uh, yeah, five different planets for us to enjoy, and uh, this is just crazy. So I guess let's give this a shot. Let's see if we can maybe land on one of these planets. Now, you have to use zero, zero G with this map, so obviously we're in space. That would only make sense. Uh-oh. I lost a piece of my spacecraft. Hopefully that's not useful. Um, I'm assuming it would be, though. It's it's a part of a spacecraft. What, what am I saying? I think I chose the wrong creation because I think this thing is pretty much always meant to balance downwards, as you can see. So I'm not actually able to flip this thing around and try and land on it. I bet I could maybe hit it, though. And uh, maybe we can hit it nice and light, and that would be considered a win. Man, I didn't realize planets were this close in space, though. I mean, look at this. I didn't realize trips would be 30 seconds. And... Going in for it. Oh, man, I'm way off, unfortunately. In weightlessness, this is not easy to do. Oh, God. All right, I think we uh, we failed our first mission. Yeah, my back engine is not even working anymore. I don't know what I did to it. But now we're quite literally floating in the middle of nowhere. So, uh, yeah, that was a total failure already. So the one downside about this map is uh, it actually isn't supplied with a spacecraft in mind. So uh, you have to bring your own spacecraft to this thing. And um, there really isn't that many weightless designs that people have done lately. So uh, obviously I wanted to use the spaceship here. It's actually very hard to control though. It doesn't want to turn at all. Like look at I'm trying to turn it right now and it's not turning at all. So I don't know if that has to do with the map or the creation itself. But yeah, it's giving me a little bit of a hard time, but I just wanted to look at this crazy map anyways, and I gotta say, it is fantastic. If I had a well-designed spacecraft that could land on these planets, I would totally do this, but they would be damn near impossible with this uh, spaceship. But still, really, really cool. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna wrap up this one here. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of the Best Besiege Creations. Checking out a lot of very unique designs today. Some big, some small, but uh, all of them I don't think we've ever seen before. There's the planet with the damn storms on it. Okay, so yeah, I wasn't crazy. There was a planet with a crazy amount of storms on it. Maybe next week, if I can find a, a spacecraft that we can use to try and colonize all these planets, it would be really fun to try, because these are some remarkable-looking planets, as you can see. So yeah, we're going to wrap this one up here. Thanks so much for all your support, guys. Thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.